ladies. And Michael, the Willie T. Ribs Racer Cheerleaders are about perfection. Hard work, sweat, tears, and pain. If you can't take a five-story fall and bounce right up, you better bounce out of here now. Dang, can't y'all take a joke? Dijanae, can we just get on with it? Look, if anyone doesn't like the way I'm running this tryout, you can break now. Dang, can't any of y'all take a joke? Now, the racers only need one more body on the squad, and it has to fit into this uniform. <laughs> oh, now y'all got a sense of humor. Well, I'm not joking, because this is the last uniform we've got. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Uh, go, 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 Ribs Racers. Yay! Next. Racers spread peace. Racers spread love. Racers spread happiness. Come on, everybody. Cheer for the racers. Woo! Next. U-G-L-Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Uh, uh, you ugly. Uh, uh. Next. We're not here to do some stupid cheer, so just empty your pockets and put the money in here. Now. Dang, they got us again. Who invited them anyway? The Pride Family. What? You and me will always be tied. Memory every single day and night. Like a fool, you know I'm loving every single thing you do. I know that I can always be myself. I love you more than anybody else. And every day as a man after school, you know there's no one I love as much as you. Family, a family. Of the racist edge. Today's hot topic. Is it true that homeism has affected the Willie T. Ribs middle school tryouts? Let's watch. If you're not a winner, you better go home. Cause I'm penny proud, I'm cute, and I'm loud, and I got it going on. What she's really trying to say is, if you're not a friend of Dijanae, you best be on your way. That's my girl. And I think we got a Is win. this the tryouts for the racers? Sorry, but the tryouts are. Let's see any good. Dijanae? Who's that? Mm -hmm. Are the tribes still open? Yeah, girl, come on. Who is that? La Cienica? We go back all the way to the sandbox. But you just said I was the winner. No, I said we had a w Relax, you're in. I'm just doing an old friend a favor. She's not going to beat you. Racers to the left. Racers to the right. Racers up the middle. Fight, fight. Wow! She's worse than me. See? You have nothing to worry about. Let's do this for real. Are you ready? about the cheerleader tryouts. The votes have been counted, recounted, and counted again. And we still don't have a winner. Is this any kind of way to pick a cheerleader? It's certainly not the way you pick your friend. Relax, Penny. You were great. And besides, no one is tighter than you and Dijanae. You're a shoo -in. She's right, you know. You were great. I was terrible. Are you kidding? You were fantastic. I've never seen moves like that before. There's no way you're not going to... I, I think I hear somebody calling me. I hate to admit it, but Tree Girl has got a point. You think so? I know so. Miss, I'm cute. I'm loud. I'm Penny. Pathetic. Oh, well, you were good if you were trying out for the circus freak show. And the jury's back with the decision. All right, ladies. And Michael. We have a tie. Between me and who? Calm down, ugly boy, and let me finish. It's between my girl, Penny Proud, and my other girl, La Cienega, full of artists. So, who made the squad? 
Well, since I am captain, I make the final decision. And I've decided... <laughs> to have a cheer-off! Wow. I guess you two aren't that tight after all, are you? You need help? No, I got this. Stay still, baby. <laughs> Honey, get over here! They're here! Oscar, get away from there. Those people are going to think we're nosy neighbors. Trudy, people who move in the middle of the day want you to be nosy so they can show off all their stuff. And wow, check out the wife. <clears throat> I mean the widescreen TV. Woo-wee! One of our neighbors show sure is ugly. Good gugga mugga. Who you calling ugly? Standing there with a face only a mother could love. And I don't. That's cold, mama. The truth hurts, boy. Trudy! I was just next door talking to the family moving in. I think I just met Cesar Romero. Mama, Cesar Romero's dead. Shoot, I know dead when I see it. Heck, I'm darn near dead myself. But that man made me feel things I haven't felt since I was... Mama, please, stop. Well, sugar mama, why don't you two try and get together? We are. Tonight, I invited them over for dinner. Here? Yeah? Them who? The new neighbors. The Boulevardes family. Boulevardes? Oh, no. No way. This cannot be. Penny, what is your problem? Who are you talking about? La Cienega Boulevardes. I can't stand her. Excuse me, young lady? I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm competing with La Cienega for the last spot on the cheerleading squad, and she's really mean to me. Plus, she's acting like she's Dijonet's best friend, and everybody knows Dijonet and I are best friends. Anyway, it's just not fair. I told you to ditch that Dijonet a long time ago. Maybe if you get to know her better, you two just might become good friends. Doubting it. Well, I know one thing. We won't be having company with people who have a bigger TV than ours. Be right back, honey. May I leave, too? No. I'm going to need some help getting dinner ready. But, Mom, I don't want to... That's enough. You're going to help me, and when our guests arrive, you're going to be on your best behavior. Understood? Yes, Mama. Oscar, what is that? It's the new 84-inch man screen, 8,000 fully equipped with a satellite dish and pizza maker. It's got everything a guy needs to watch TV. Big deal. He'll still fall asleep on the couch watching it. Not anymore. I love this thing. Penny, sugar mama. Company's here. Okay, I'm coming! Oh, stop acting a fool. Who left this open? Ah! Welcome, everyone. I'm Trudy Proud, and this is my husband. Oscar Proud, owner of Proud Snacks. Oh, you're the guy. Felix Boulevard is. Boulevard is construction? We use your snacks as landfill. This is my wife, Sunset, my daughter, La Cienega, and my pops, Poppy. And you already know, Sugar Mama. Tus ojos brillan como diamantes opacos, y el cabello de tus manos me pican, como los de un puerco espín. Pero a mi edad, no puedo exigir. Chad, I don't know what you said, but you sure put a smile on my face. <laughs> I brought Penny a present, Mrs. Proud. Where is she? Penny! Get your behind down here. Uh, I'm down. So, Felix, I saw them bring in your big screen. What is that little beauty? An 80-inch? Yeah, yeah, it is, but well, this is my daughter's television. I watch my TV in a home theater. Wow! You want to check it out? Can I? <laughs> Hey! Hey, get the Oscar! Come in here and fix this thing! Me and Caesar wanna watch wrestling! <laughs> so 
So after I pulled him over, I told Felix he had a choice of walking the line or walking down the aisle. <laughs> and he went for that? I'm a cop and I'm strapped. Miss Proud, this smells so good. What is it? It's chitlins. So, La Cienega, I hear you and Penny are trying out for cheerleaders. I know I'm not gonna make it. Penny is much better than I am. I'm just honored to be mentioned in the same breath as Penny. Oh, my. You have the Ultra Megatron HD TV with the P&P &P and the DVD. I'm an L-U-V. Oh, no, no, no. Now you're about to fall in love. When I want to get away, I tell my wife I'm going on a business trip. I double back, and I kick it right here. Really? How do you get away with that? Well, this baby is soundproof. Nothing gets out, and nothing gets in. Oscar, Felix, dinner's ready. Except my wife. <laughs> Felix, it was great meeting you. We'll have to take that trip we talked about earlier. What trip? Uh, the camping trip. You know, the one during the weekend of the big boxing match? Oh, yeah! Sure! So you're coming to our women's self-defense class next week, right? Keep Oscar in his place. You bet. Dinner was delicious, Mrs. Proud, and your house is beautiful. Why, thank you, La Cienega. Hey, Penny, now that we're neighbors, I guess we'll be hanging out together. That would be not happening. Kidding! <laughs> that would be fun. Tus manos se sienten como el cuero de Corintios. Ooh, Oscar, your new stepdaddy show can't talk. Buenas noches. I don't understand what you were talking about, Penny. La Cienega seems like a very nice girl, and she really seemed to like you. She was playing us, Mom. Oh, just give her a chance, baby. She seems to be trying. Why can't you? Okay, Mom, I'll try. You better. Because Felix Boulevardis is the best thing to ever happen to me. And if you mess that up, I swear I'll... <clears throat> I mean, listen to your mother. Hey, La Cienega. Look, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm really sorry. Let's be cool, okay? Save it, cornball. I'm already cool by myself. And your house stinks. Hey, guys, I saved seats for you. Penny, why don't you sit with us, too? I don't think so. I'd rather sit with the gross sisters than sit with you. Come on, Sticky. No, wait a minute, Penny. Let's think about this. The gross sisters are, well, well, they're gross. Come on. What's gotten into that girl? I don't know. I was just trying to be nice to her. Maybe she's not getting enough roughage. Come on, Penny, don't! Sit, Sticky. You know you got guts coming over here. But it's cool. I mean, just because we take your money doesn't mean we don't have feelings. Speaking of which... Uh, why are we paying to be with people we don't like when we can be with people we do like for free? Because I don't like La Cienega. She's turning my best friend against me. I wish she would just go away. Oh, really? She didn't mean that. That was just a figure of speech. I do mean it. I wish I never had to look at her ever again. As in you would never want anything bad to happen to her, right? I just wish she wasn't around ruining my life. I can't eat you guys, I'm out. I've got to get ready for the cheer off. Woo woo. Where you going, three eyes? I like that big hair girl. You know, we ought to help her out. And I got an idea. Oscar, where are you going? Camping with Felix. We're going to do that male bonding thing. So what is this for? You're taking a TV schedule for reading? Oh, I don't read it. I just look at the pictures. Tell them, Mama. Oh, yeah, the boy's simple. Well, I gotta run. I'm gonna miss the big bout. I mean, uh, gonna fish for the big trout. Bye. Yeah, 
No, you can't go with Daddy. When I get back, I take you fishing in the sink. <laughs> Today! Come on, baby. Let's go play with your Daddy's new TV. What's the long face for? I'm not gonna make the cheerleading squad. Oh, why not? What happened? Dijonay, my so-called best friend, is selling me out for La Cienega. Stop all that whining, girl. Your name is Proud, not Punk. Now, if you want to win that cheerleading thing, you need a gimmick. You know anything about twirling? What? Just watch what I do with my cane. A few moves like this, and I guarantee you'll win. The trick is to never <laughs> drop your baton. Get up, Puff, and find my cane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Daddy. Where's Daddy? Yo, Penny, you better check your girls. The Gross Sisters are straight tripping. What are you talking about, Sticky? The Gross Sisters, the three big ashy girls, they're gonna ruin La Cienega's cheer. Good. No, not good. They're gonna straight jack her, and it's all because of you. Me? I didn't tell them to do anything. But they think you did. And you're the only one that can squash this. Please, they're just talking mess. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, peep this. I programmed my pager to pick up a signal from the government spy satellite. Why? Because I got it like that. Wow. What are they gonna do? They're gonna make La Cienega look fly. But it's not gonna be pretty. If you know what I mean. What are you talking about, Sticky? The Gross Sisters turned the entire stage into a giant CD. And when they hit play, I believe La Cienega's gonna be singing I Believe I Can Fly. The Gross Sisters did this by themselves? Are you kidding? I'm the one who came up with the flying dish idea. Do you know how long it took me to calculate the critical velocity? Sticky! Look, Penny, the Gross Sisters held me captive for the past two days. You have no idea what they did to me in here. I'll never be the same. But forget about me. You, you gotta stop this madness before La Cienega lands on La Luna. Penny! Okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's all taken care of, Penny. La Cienega won't be saying any cheers today. You guys, what are you doing? We're just helping you out. You got me all wrong. I would never do something like this. Of course you wouldn't. This is what we do. All we have to do is pull this lever, and La Cienega's cheerleading career will be La History. Ooh, that's really cool. I mean, no, I can't let you do this. And how do you plan on stopping this? Oops, there it is. We out. What are we gonna do now? for taking that little spin for me. It's the least you can do. Sorry, can't do it. That's it. Ow, 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 ow. That was not right. She did not have to go there. 
Oh, now you get it. I'm sorry, Penny. I didn't know she was like that. The La Cienega I knew was a very nice person, someone you could depend on, someone who was four years old. But you know what? I'm the one who should be apologizing. I put a lot of pressure on you. I feel like I was losing my best friend. You know I got love for you, girl. You'll always be my best friend. Really? Know that. So we still cool? Like the other side of the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dijanae, let me ask you something. Sure, girlfriend, anything. If I wasn't hurt, who would you have picked? Me or La Siena? Uh, honestly? Honestly. For real? For real, for real. For really, really, for real, for real? Dijanae! Camping. Does it get any better than this, my friend? No kids, no noise, and the best part, no nagging wife. Pass the popcorn. Thank you, Trudy. Trudy! Sunset? Camping trip, huh? Nagging wife, huh? Baby, I can explain. We were talking about our nagging wives. Yeah, we were talking about the nagging wives on TV. Sunset, don't do it, baby. I can explain. Somebody TV, please. No, no! Oh, not again!